Hello everybody and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and welcome to my brand new series, Workouts at the Museum. And today I'm here in this amazing mammal hall at the Natural History Museum in London to bring you a very special five minute workout. We're gonna get energized, we're gonna have lots of fun, and I'm gonna tell you some really interesting facts and ask you some amazing questions as well. So get your thinking caps ready. Now we're gonna start things off in 10 seconds time with one of my favorite exercises, just to get warmed up. I call these toe touches. Feet nice and wide, arms out to the side, and then we're gonna to touch our toes left to right. Off we go, 35 seconds of toe touches. So just nice and controlled, get that little rotation through your spine and we're trying to get our fingertips to hit our toes. So we're gonna do 35 seconds on this and then we stop and rest for 25. We get a little bit of a recovery and that's when I'm gonna ask you the first question. So get ready, here it comes. Right, 15 seconds to go. Left, right, left, right. Well done everyone, keep it going. Last 10 seconds, touching those toes. Nice big stretch down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, relax. That's our first move. Right, so here it is, question number one. What is the world's largest land animal? What is the world's largest land animal? Could be a clue, something behind me potentially. Could be behind me, have a little think. Right, next exercise, we're gonna run on the spot and throw little jabs. So it's run and jab, run, run, run like that. Lifting your feet off the floor and then throwing your arms out in front. Off we go, make sure you've got enough room. Make sure you've got a bit of room between you. Right, good, nice and quick. 30 seconds left. So the answer is the world's largest land animal is the elephant. There you go, well done if you got that question right. And there's more to come. Right, keep going, nice and fast. Can we, we're going a bit slow, I think we can go faster. Let's do turbo speed. Turbo speed, come on, let's go. 10 seconds left. Faster, knees up. Come on, all the energy. Get your heart rate pumping. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Right, big breath. Well done, you can feel your heart pumping really fast. That's getting the blood and oxygen all around your body to your muscles. Right, next question. How many hours do you think elephants spend eating every day? How many hours do you think elephants spend eating every single day? Who knows, right. Here we go, we're gonna do squats now. We squat down and bring your knee up. So squat down and then your knee comes up and across the body. You ready for it? This is it, number three, let's go. Squats and knee. So the answer is, I can't believe this. I mean, I thought I like my food and I love my food, but elephants can spend up to 12 to 18 hours a day eating. That is, that is crazy. Right, keep it going. Knees up. So squat down and the knee comes up and across the body. Well done. Really bend those knees, getting nice strong legs, working those muscles in your thighs. Okay, we've got eight seconds left. Sit down, drive the knee up. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, recover. We've only got two more exercises. So, next question. What do you call a group of rhinos? What do you call a group of rhinos? Interesting question. I'm not entirely sure that I knew that one until now, but it's a cool name for a group of rhinos. Okay, next up, we're gonna do what I like to call Spider-Man lunges. So we're gonna spidey lunge and you throw the web. So you go step and change direction. So you lunge, you bend the knees like this, you bend both legs, throw the spider web as we turn left to right, good. Left to right, so this is it. This is what they call a group of rhinos. This is awesome. A group of rhinos is called a crash. A crash of rhinos is the name to describe a big group of rhinos together. Keep going. So stretch and make sure you spin the spider webs. Come on, squat that, go. lunge down low and throw the spidey lunge. Keep it going. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done. We've only got one more exercise to go. So now I'm gonna give you some facts, okay? So scientists at the museum tell me an elephant, this is, this is hilarious. An elephant, can create up to a ton of poo per week. A ton of poo, that's like a whole car full of poo. But they do spend 12 to 18 hours a day eating, so it makes sense. Okay, last exercise, we're gonna do kangaroo hops. Let's go. So hop, left, right, left, right. You've gotta make sure you get your hands up here because you've got a little joey in your pouch. And we're just gonna protect your joey 
as you hop left to right. Right, keep it going. Come on everyone, this is the last exercise. Bring all your energy, let's get your heart rate up as high as we can. We're gonna feel fantastic after this because exercise, it always makes us feel happier. It gives us more energy and we feel incredible. Keep it going, 10 seconds. Let's go, left to right, left, right, left, right. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, well done everyone. So that's the end of our exercises. I've got one more special science fact for you. Hippos, hippos can hold their breath for up to five minutes underwater. What an amazing fact. So there we go, that was our workout. Five moves, five minutes with amazing questions and fantastic facts. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for taking part. Please come back to the Body Coach Studio because there's more workouts at the museum. See you soon.